Welcome back to Northwest Cooks. I'm Nick Miles. We're in our Bradley Design and Education Center with all your Wolf and Sub Zero products. Today, Cisco have brought us Martine, who is the chef at the Greek Cuisina downtown Portland. We have made our calamari with tzatziki. Our tzatziki. second dish today is going to be what? Today is the second dish is going to be the stuffed Florentine uh, chicken, chicken breast. Chicken Florentine. It calls chicken Florentine. All right. So, what are our ingredients here? You okay, our ingredients here. You have chicken. We have the chicken. The okay. whole chicken, you just pound it until it goes nice and spread flat. All nice and flat. Yes, and Then spinach. with some spinach. Spinach, uh, feta cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese, grilled onions, one egg, and Greek spices. Greek spices. First of all, we're going to make the, the, the mix. The mix that goes in the middle. That goes okay. in the middle of the chicken breast. This one here. It's about one cup of spinach. Okay, cooked and cooked, shredded. Yeah, cooked and shredded. Yes, yeah, so spinach. Then we're gonna add like half cup of Greek yogurt. Greek, yes. Oh, is it sour cream? No, no. This Greek. Okay. That's yogurt. Okay. Okay. And this, this is cottage cheese. Okay. We're gonna put another quarter of a cup. Okay. Quarter of a cup. Excellent. Then we have only one egg here. Egg. We need just one egg. The whole thing. Whole thing. Yes. Okay. Then we're gonna put some feta cheese. This oh, is about it's Greek feta. Six, oh, there's nothing. It's about better. six ounces of feta cheese. Oh, six ounces. That's a lot of feta. And ounce, I mean, I'm sorry, four ounces. Four ounces. And then we're gonna put a little bit of Greek spices. Secret Greek spices. Secret. Okay, just checking. Then you gotta make sure that this is all mixed together. You, you gotta like mix to, it. You like to mix everything by hand, right? It's I have good, no choice. Right? Okay. Okay, now, we have the chicken here, chicken breast. It's a wafer thin chicken breast. Then we put about three ounces and a half. Okay, right in the With middle. the stuffing, yes. You just roll up one, one side, then the so other it, side. It's almost like a, a, a Cornish pasty there, you're wrapping it. You it's quite convenient having that saran wrap there. Look at that. See? That's beautiful. That's easy. This is gonna take about two, about Two minutes. It's going to take it for two minutes right there in the skillet. From there, we're going to put it in the oven. We're going to finish in the oven. Uh, while this cooks off in the skillet, we'll take a look at this. Welcome to our Kitchen Gadget segment. I'm Nick Miles with Jessica from Bradley Design Education Center. And Jessica, this is a Sub-Zero wine storage system, right? Yes, it is. Sub-Zero really thought of everything when they were planning for your wine storage needs. As you can see here, we've got a, a two di different areas for your white wine and your red wine. They're uh, thermostatically controlled, so you're able to put the wine exactly the temperature that you like it. And it's easily accessible with these pull-out drawers. Okay, so you can get your wine, and, and I like the idea that you can keep your whites and your reds at the temperature that you need to. This is actually two units that are next to each other, but this comes in a, a single unit. And one of the great things I think about Sub-Zero is that they design the unit to fit in your kitchen, right? Absolutely. Regardless of the finish that you're looking for or how it fits into your area, Sub-Zero has many different options for you to choose from. Perfect. To find out more about that Sub-Zero wine storage system or any of the Bradley products, their website, Bradley, L-E-E, Dot net, or you can go to northwestcookstv.com. Okay, now we're going to make the sauce, uh, oregano sauce. We're going to use butter. Okay, we're going to put two, uh, two tablespoons of butter. Okay. We're going to use some plain flour. Okay. One, two, three. Three, three teaspoons of plain three flour. Teaspoons of flour. Okay, now we're gonna add chicken stock that chicken we have stock. here. Keep stirring it. It's about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little bit of chicken base. Just a little bit, tiny bit. Like a quarter of a, a quarter teaspoon. teaspoon. The, green, the spices. The secret green secret spices. spices is okay. going to be. Okay, this is done. So now we're going to make some uh, vegetables also. You're going to steam a few steam vegetables. Steam some vegetables. We're going to put it with the chicken, Florentine. Okay. This you have to have here. A mixed Boiling vegetable. water. Okay. This is mixed vegetables. It has broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Okay. Sliced carrots. Just put in the water for, what, 15 seconds. Doesn't have to be there for a long time. Yes, just blanch them a little bit, get soft. 
All right, and so now our chicken's in the oven. We uh, we sautéed it off and we baked it in the oven. In the oven, when it finished in the oven. If you want to pull the chicken out of the oven. Pull the chicken, towel and tongs in your hands when you're All cooking. Right. Okay, now we're gonna put it here. We're gonna cut them in four pieces. Okay, so we're gonna cut the chicken up. Now we're gonna cut the chicken, slices. Smells so good. It does. It's not good. But it's okay. I'm used to it. You have probably hands of leather, right? So many so many times you burnt yourself in the kitchen. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you one thing. I had to burn myself. Oh, look at that. See? How popular is this at the Greek cuisine? It's real popular, man. It is. We've been there for many years. A lot of customers always. When we come back, we're going to make... Baklava. Baklava. That's when Northwest Cooks returns. Mm -hmm.